Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today, I have a few things going on. I want to open up a box that I've been waiting to open up with you guys and then also I'm going to a little wine tasting event with some friends in this city later for this evening and quite late. I'm actually starting this vlog in the late evening. It's like 7 p.m. already. So I have my makeup done. I am feeling a little bit better. I'm not too sick but my voice is still a little bit raw. So anyway, let's take a look at this box that I've been patiently waiting to open up for you guys. I got a package. I'm really excited about this one. I actually got it like a few days ago, but I've been saving it for a different vlog because I feel like it's not really Halloween related. Now that Halloween's officially over, we can start focusing on Christmas vlogmas. It's not Vlogmas yet, but I will most likely be doing it this year. But I just want to open up this package with you guys because I'm so excited about it. So I got these products from a company called Peachbox and basically they sell like stunning jewelry that's totally my style. So when they contacted me in regards to doing a little bit of a haul video with you guys, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I love everything that you guys have. So I got a few items that I chose out from the Peach Box that I'm really excited about and that I also think would be amazing for holiday shopping. So if you, any of you guys are starting to think about holiday shopping or what kind of gifts you can buy at an affordable rate, this is definitely an option. So this is just what the packaging looks like. Everything individually comes in their own little box called the Peach Box, which I think is really, really cute. And it comes with their own little silky bags as well. Stop, so cute. You guys, can we just appreciate the beauty? Like, look at these earrings. Oh my gosh. I love this style. So basically, the Peach Box is a jewelry company online that distributes really nice, gorgeous, stunning jewelry online internationally. I actually have a coupon code for you guys. So if you put in the coupon code BB15, you'll get a little discount from me off for any holiday shopping you guys want to do. So these are wraparound earrings, which I really, really love. I have only one other pair and I just had to get these because they look absolutely gorgeous. So the original earring goes in through the front, then you clip it to the back clasp, which wraps around to the front to provide this a lovely look. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel so glam right now. So those are the earrings up close. So everything that I did order will be linked in the description box down below so you guys can check them out. And the next item that I got, oh stop. This one also comes with its own little sachet to store it in that says the peach box. That is so cute. And I got this T-shaped bangle, which is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so fancy. I love this style of stuff. And it has all these beautiful rhinestone crystals inside of it. Oh, so pretty. I am in love. Oh my gosh, so dainty. That's the rose gold tea bangle that I got. <laughs> The next one that I got also comes with its own sachet and I have this stunning one right here Which is this gorgeous kind of belt style rose gold bangle, which I think is absolutely beautiful and it, Oh my god, you guys it actually opens up like a real belt So that's how you clasp it on to your arm that is the most beautiful, unique bracelet I have ever seen. Oh my God, if Kyle got this for me, like all these as a Christmas gift, I would be so happy. I'm already so happy. Like that is so beautiful and they match together. They're well weighted. I love it. And then the final thing that I got is the Mark veil oh watch ah oh, it's beautiful oh my goodness can we just literally stunning stop it 
and it came with a changeable uh, band. So if you don't want the shiny rose gold band, you can opt for the nice beige. It's pretty. Oh my god. Oh, I feel fancy. I feel so fancy. These honestly would make like stunning Christmas gifts. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I need to I need to adjust the sizing on that. But I think it's so pretty. It's really wearable for like every day, especially with the changeable wristband. I think I might swap it out, but it's like not too much, if you know what I mean. Like I love a nice watch, but I like them to be versatile where you can literally wear them with any any outfit you want. And I think that one really does it because you get the rose gold accent, but then you also get a little bit of bling with the numbers being the uh, crystals in there and then same with these bangles. I think they're gorgeous. They're not too much So you can literally wear them with almost any outfit You can glam them up or glam them down totally versatile So yeah, that is everything that I got from the peach box definitely check them out in the description box down below you guys Because they are providing that bb15 coupon code for you all So if you are starting to think about christmas shopping definitely check them out They got some amazing jewelry there that I clearly love since I wanted to do this collab with them so yeah definitely check them out I'm in love every single piece is totally my style and totally what I love in look for and jewelry for this evening I'm going to be going to the stone lay little exhibition that they've been holding all month in the CBD around the Flinders station area in Melbourne it's been going on for a while but I just never got around to doing it then I realized literally today and tomorrow are the last two days that the event will be in Melbourne and then they're moving somewhere else I think I think maybe Sydney or something like that I'm not too sure but anyway it's basically this wine tasting event where the whole little exhibition goes through the steps of creating wine and then you can taste throughout it and then at the end you can go to a bar and grab a bottle that they created or so on and so forth so I'm going to be going to that event with some friends today and I'm going to take you guys with me into the city at night to hang out with my friends and to go to this cute little wine tasting so before I head out it just kind of crossed my mind Mind. Um, I haven't mentioned to you guys, but uh, the other day, like before Halloween, I wanted to get into the Halloween spirit. So I started watching Vampire Night again, the anime based off the manga, which is pretty old now. I feel like it's like a decade old. But basically, I finished it and then I realized that the manga actually finished and I've never completed the series. Like, I don't know how Vampire Night ever ended and it actually is one of the first mangas I ever read. Like, it was an introductory manga to the manga and anime world for me when I was like, even before high school, I was like 13 or 12. Um, so I never knew how the story ended, so I realized a couple nights ago that they actually completed the manga so i got it up on the manga rock app the one that i used to read my manga on whenever i do read it and i finished it and last night i stayed up till like 3 a.m finishing that whole manga and i am so depressed after it and i feel like a piece of my childhood has finally left like i made a new step into adulthood because that manga was like the introduction to like manga and anime for me it was one of them and the story ended like kind of sad and I don't know how I feel about it I'm like oh no it's so sad like it's over it's really over so if any of you guys have read the manga Vampire Night and finished it uh, let me know how you thought the ending was because I'm I'm not like I'm happy with it but I'm not really happy with it and I'm not too sure how I feel anymore and I couldn't like sleep last night because I kept thinking about it and then today I was kind of like in a frump mood in the morning because I was like oh no it's over like everyone everyone <laughs> so yeah anyway enough babbling let's head out <laughs> So I just stopped off at Milk the Cow to meet up with my friends before we go to the venue. We're getting some wine, even though the event has like wine sampling there too, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so I think we're just going to finish our drink and then head on over to the Stone Lay. So we made it into the city and we're just going to head up and try to get into this events. I'm really excited to see what it looks like inside. I've seen pictures and it looks really good. Kind of wizardry. <laughs> Surprise yeah. wizardry getting our tickets in. Oh, 
getting emotional about the wine. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my sketchy life. That's Ali. You don't know what's around the corner. Nothing is around the corner. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am back home now. I had a lot of fun out tonight. It was really good to go out and just kind of like experience something new. I really enjoyed going to the uh, Stone Lay event. It was really interesting. It was like the perfect you know, just the right amount of learning and education mixed with like aesthetic and photo ops. So if there is the Stone Light event in your area, the little exhibit that they do, I feel like they're not gonna be in Melbourne for the remainder of the year. I feel like they're going somewhere else next. So if Stone Light is gonna be in your area in Australia, definitely check them out. I think it's really interesting. I think it's all New Zealand wine so super interesting and then aside from that definitely check out the peach box the jewelry is so nice honestly everyone was complimenting my earrings tonight and they just like glowed so beautifully so beautifully outside in like natural lighting so it was really nice everyone loved the earrings that I wore today and yeah so I think for the rest of the night I'm just gonna chill with Kyle we're gonna have dinner and watch a little bit of Netflix I think right now we're watching like the side info like little documentary on the Stranger Things season two that came out so just like a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff on Netflix and yeah I think I'm gonna have some dinner I'm really really hungry and yes yeah, so that's it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to thumbs up this video if you did comment down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more on my daily life as i live in melbourne australia bye